Welcome back to another episode of Halla City Podcast. Today, I'm very lucky to have Dr. Waldo here from our Kidney Transplant Centre here at MediClinic City Hospital. Doctor, can you tell me a bit about yourself and what you're doing here at City Hospital? Thank you for this opportunity. My name is Dr. Waldo Concepcion. I'm a consultant in transplant surgery here at MediClinic City Hospital, Dubai. I did my training many years ago, and uh, at that time, the best centre in the world for transplant was University of Pittsburgh. And from there, I went to San Francisco, worked in San Francisco as well as Stanford for 20 years. And I got approached to co consider coming to Dubai. And I came in 2018 and saw the need for transplant. Most beyond surgery is to organize it and to have a development as a, as a service in Dubai. So 2019, I decided to move to, to Dubai and, and work a, as uh, creating the transplant program, organizing, creating, and developing the program. Uh, the interesting thing about, about MediClinic City Hospital is that it has been instrumental from the beginning of developing organ transplantation and creating the infrastructure to be able to be successful. And for that, we had to recognize Dr. Farhad, Dr. Tihiki, and the administration of the hospital that was at that time to have the foresight to deal with many aspects, legislation, services, connections with other entities like the Saudi group, to be able to have a successful and sta stable program here in Dubai. So how many uh, transplants successfully you done here at City Hospital? We have uh, been able to do, uh, right now we are in 52 transplants that we have done in, in Dubai, in MediClinic City Hospital. Amazing work that you're doing. So. What is the nephrology and kidney department doing here at City Hospital? How are you supporting the transplant center? Important to mention is the, the nephrology. The nephrologists are the real brains. They are the ones that have to understand, first of all, the stage of the kidney disease, manage as best as they can to prevent to go to transplant. But when it comes to time to go to transplant is to optimize their management, their care, prevention of of many things like transfusions or any type of sensitizing event to have them to be successful for transplant. The nephrology here that we have, the nephrology team that we have here in MediClinic is second to none. All well trained, the best institutions in, in, in Europe that came here to serve, to, to care for the community of, of uh, patients with kidney disease in Dubai. And it's not just here, all the connections of the MediClinic system for kidney disease are extremely good, capable nephrologists that support our efforts. So it's a huge team that is uh, undertaking such a large project. Um, how did you, you did mention it in the beginning of your discussion, but how did MediClinic City Hospital get into this program? How, why was it started here at City? MediClinic City Hospital and their, and their leadership looked at the presence of kidney disease, the present kidney disease in, in Dubai, the UAE is growing consistently the patients enrolling for dialysis is growing. And when you have this, you have to understand that patient's quality of life, patient survival over the long term, you gotta do a dramatic change. You cannot stay in dialysis for the rest of your life and say you're going to survive and have good quality. So you have to offer patients a better quality of life and that's transplant. And City Hospital took that upon themselves and said, we're going to offer transplant for the adults. And most important, we're going to participate and have a, a relationship in the region to make it happen. And that was a relation that came at that time with Al Jalila Children Hospital, MBRU, and Medicaid to create the infrastructure, not just to serve the adult population, but also to serve the pediatric population, because they both need each other. When the children get older, they need a transition point. When the children need living donors, they're adults. So you have to have a center in which provide the services and communicate and engage in a productive and substantial way in both services. And then you have the research education part coming from BRU to put everything together to have an equation that is successful in transplant. And that's what happened. And that relationship creates credibility to know that MediClinic is serious about changing people's lives to transplant. It's not about a surgical event. There are many people that do surgical events. The surgeon, bam, bam, out. Many clinics say, we're going to take care of your kidney. When you get to transplant, we're going to transplant you, and we're going to follow you for the rest of your life with the best team of people, 24-7, holidays, Ramadan, eat, everything for your problems. That's what Medi Clinic has done. And for that, you have to recognize the commitment is extremely high. 
I can hear the passion in and how you talk, and it's really uh, nice to hear that City Hospital is is focusing on that. Can you sort of share a typical patient journey? Like, obviously, you've dealt with so many patients. Obviously, you've said about fifty two already here at City. What's a typical from the beginning to the to the middle stage to the, to the end? Sort of, you're looking after that patient. How does a patient journey start with uh, with kidney transplant? Well, there are many scenarios in how you start. The person that has healthcare pretty much has a physician that be tracking them, they develop high blood pressure, they diagnose kidney disease, and as the state of their kidney disease deteriorates, they transition into our center with nephrologists to be managed and evaluated for transplant. That's the best optimal place to do. The majority of patients in which don't have that facility, the way how they find transplant is when they have abrupt access to dialysis through congestive fluid, the kidney don't work and dramatic failure, then they enter it into dialysis and then from there going to transplant. Then comes a different scenario. Why MediClinic is special? Because MediClinic has done significant work to work with entities around to have charity funding. Okay. The healthcare environment is growing here in Dubai. It still need to develop that culture that we cover transplant that we are totally involved in transplant. That's developing. But the thing that Medicaid has that is different than everybody else that they thought about it from the beginning and create an environment that we're going to get you funds and we're going to put our mouth where the money is. We're going to be there and provide this for you. So the typical patient that has insurance, sure, goes through the process easily. The one that doesn't have the funds, Medicaid gets all the services behind them, helping provide funds. Transplanting is not just a transplant follow-up care, medications, care complications without asking, hey, let me see your credit card to pay for things. That's an amazing institution that can do that. I think that's a very ethical approach that uh, the, the hospital is using, and I think that should be commended. How is MediClinic using cutting-edge technology to support you in your, in your service, and how, how is that working for you? I think that we are, we are very blessed that we have very capable physicians here, very capable systems to provide the best care for the, for the kidney patients. This involves simple things that provide the drug levels in a matter of hours after we require them for the care of the patients. We, we have a state-of-the-art cardiology. Most of the patients with diabetes will have a cardiac problem. We have state-of-the-art cardiologists to deal with any problem that we have and to help us in the post of care for them. We have infectious disease to deal with complex infection like COVID. We suffered through COVID and transplant was not exempt of it, but we have a team to deal with this. We have all the setup of every, of every specialty at the highest level to deal with our patients and help us carry them through transplant. On a, obviously, it must be a very an emotional experience because you're dealing with living donors. You're dealing with uh, very difficult, complex scenarios with families. How does you as a doctor and how does the hospital support that? It, it must be quite a, an emotional journey because one, it's a long term journey, but sometimes it can be a quick journey depending on what happens to either the donor or, or it, it says, how does MediClinic support them in that? I had never had an occasion which the MediClinic has said, no, we cannot do the transplant here. They always find the solution, find the answer, find some resources to, to help patients. And that's something that is admirable in this place. We come to meetings in which, oh, we cannot do this because there's no funding. Oh, we cannot do this, we have to send it to the... Here, every patient comes here, everything is possible that they get done here with the best treatment, not just the marginal, the best treatment, best access to care. So once the transplant is done and the patient is back home, living a, their new life with, with their new uh, organ. How does MediClinic continue to support that, that patient in the longer term? And how is that journey supported by you and, and the team here? Very important question. When you're a transplant patient that is done in MediClinic City Hospital in Dubai, you cannot get married to us. When you get married in good and bad spirits and uglies, we are here for you. And that's the thing about MediClinic. You have always will have a very capable nephrologist and team here that you have a fever on Halloween or the Christmas at 25, at 12 o'clock at night, you can get access. You can be taken care of. That's a commitment that American has for, for the transplant patients. You will be cared every single step of the way for the rest of your life. Where do you see the long-term vision of where uh, MediClinic is going in its partnership with other organizations. You obviously talked, you've you know done so many transplants. What's the next level for, for this hospital, do you think, in your, in your opinion? 
I think the next level would be, first of all, to enhance services. Number two, to uh, bring more people access to, to, to the transplant team because they will be very well served here. Number three is to have outreach to the other Emirates to access and say, we can do your patients in a very good fashion. Number four is to bring cutting technology. We have to work with other, other aspects. Like how can we create patients to have less amount of immunosuppression? How can we create in collaboration with, let's say, MBIU to develop a research, pharmacology research lab to develop new compounds? The compounds that we have right now have been 30 years old. We need to bring new technology. And I think that's the exciting thing about Dubai. New things can happen. And that is the collaboration that I hope that Medi the Mediclinic has with the other institutions to bring the next generation of, of medication, the next generations of care, the tolerance. We need to work on tolerance. How can we modify the immune system to accept the organs eventually and we can, re we can remove medication? My previous institution, we work on that pediatric and we're very successful. We can do that here. We just need time, effort and focus on, on healthcare. I think Dubai is very lucky to have doctors like yourself. I mean, you're bringing change, life changing things to people. And I think that's amazing. So uh, City Hospital is very lucky to have you. Uh, I think, do you have a, like a take home message that you want to get across to people on, on this podcast today? The most important thing, prevent kidney disease. If you can prevent a few things, prevent diabetes. Number two, learn to eat healthy. Number three, visit your physician regularly. Get checked. Kidney disease is a silent killer. Sometimes you don't even feel about it. Your blood pressure is sky high. You have a stroke. You, your heart gets shocked. That's kidney failure. We need to be able to be a lot earlier, treating it, preventing it. And then if by any chance you develop kidney failure, be sure that you have early access to evaluation for transplant. Always the two pathways. When you have the, 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 the stage of kidney failure, you have to have the access access to transplant and access to dialysis. They should be presented in the same way. That if everything is done right, we can do the transplant percentage of patients before dialysis and optimize the care. It has been proven that if you do transplant before dialysis, it's better outcome and better quality of life. If you're going to go on dialysis, be sure that you understand how to do it right, how to take care of yourself. Most important, stop smoking, stop alcohol, stop everything that is deleterious for your body and focus on your health. For me and for everything, it's a privilege to serve here, but I don't want to be serving at the tip of the pyramid of care. We all need to participate to go to the fundamentals, how to be healthy. And I think the medical clinic is doing a very good job on that. We just need to make it wider across Dubai and be sure that we are the lighthouse for health in the region not just about doing the surgery, but about preventing it, bringing technology, helping, and most important, caring this patient for life. Well, I think prevention is better than cure and health is wealth. So I think uh, I, I, I agree with your take home message. I think uh, we should all reflect. And I think that I'm glad that we can have so many services here at City Hospital to support every avenue for the patient. Thank you so much, doctor. It's been a pleasure having you here today. Thank you so much for listening today on our podcast and I hope to see you soon.